In October of 2021, 9,000 people in the city of Iqaluit were under a do not consume water quality advisory due to the presence of fuel found in the drinking water supply. And it prompted a federal response by the deployment of the Canadian Armed Forces. My name is Ian Moran, and I was part of the response team for the Iqaluit water crisis. So the first part of my journey took me to Lake Geraldine, which is the city's raw water source. So water comes in from Lake Geraldine through the intake pipe, and it passes through several different treatment processes, being ultraviolet disinfection, uh, sand filtration, and it's hit with chlorine for disinfection before going to a few below ground tanks. So there are four of those tanks. They all operate in series, so water passes from one tank to the next, and then goes to the reservoir where it's stored and then goes to distribution. At some point in time, this underground fuel storage tank had failed, ruptured, its contents had spilled down to the bottom of the void, and due to the formation of the bedrock, it was conveyed to the low point in the void. Charles, um, being a professional chemist in good standing, was responsible for collecting and interpreting water quality results, as well as installing a novel real-time hydrocarbon monitoring system or a spectrophotometer. Unlike having to wait a week for water quality results to come back, this spectrophotometer would allow us to get results in real time. Justin worked tirelessly with city staff, public health officials, and various levels of the government to set the framework for moving forward and to help restore consumer confidence. Our team also did a number of upgrades to the water treatment plant itself. I just want to say thank you to the city of Iqaluit and to our WSB team for their fantastic efforts throughout the course of this emergency. Being a part of this has been a very humbling experience and something that I will not forget for the rest of my life.